Hey, fun science video for you. Uh, I was thinking just about this a little bit and I decided I was gonna go ahead and do something for this for class. Um, but I wanna videotape it because I don't, I don't really wanna do this every single period. So uh, I'm gonna just do something with it. So I was thinking a little bit about kinetic theory and kinetic theory talks about how if you heat a, an object up that the molecules will be moving not only faster but they'll also be further apart. And so in class we were talking about how if this is true, then if you heat an object up, whether it be water, whether it be water vapor, when you heat it up, if it speeds up and it's farther apart, it should be less dense. So, you know, I said to the students, I said, hey, that means that I should be able to prove to you that warm water is actually less dense than cold water. So I thought I'd do this cool little thing to show you that. So in this container right here, I have some warm water, okay? I made it red in this demonstration to try to help you out so that you can see it. And I, I've got two th containers of red water here, all right? I also have, all right, this blue water here. And the blue water, I've got some ice in. So right now, uh, I just made this blue for the sake of being able to see it. I don't want any of the ice to actually get into the container. So I'm just gonna put this and I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. I did get a tiny one little ice cube in there. I don't really want that one ice cube to be there. So when it comes up here and fills up to the top, I'll take that one ice cube out, but I'll spill a little bit of it out there. There we go, I got that one ice cube at the top, got that out. All right, so I've also got some paper towels here for when I make a mess, because I'm sure I will. So this is cold water, I made it blue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, red water and I'm gonna take this little thing right here and I'm gonna put this on top of here just to kind of turn this up so that I won't make a mess when I do this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to get this warm water right here. I'm gonna remove this card that I have here. I've just gotta make sure I get this really lined up. And when I do this, I'm gonna remove this card and the warm water is gonna be on top of the blue water. If it truly is less dense, which is what kinetic theory says, then the less dense water should stay on top. The hardest part of this though, is I gotta get the containers perfectly lined up when I do this or it won't work. So no magic, no tricks. These are both water. They're both water. <laughs> and this proves kinetic theory. You see, because this is less dense than the cold water. Kinetic theory says that if you heat water up, its molecules will be moving faster and they'll be further apart, which would mean that the warm water is less dense. So the warm water is sitting on top of the cold water. The only thing I put in this water was food coloring. So you know which one was warm and which one's blue. They're both water. So if kinetic theory is true, then this should be the way it is. But I wonder what would happen if you put the more dense water on top. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just set this here just so that you can still see this. <laughs> but we'll do, we'll do one where we put the blue on the top, which if we put the blue on top, it should be more dense and it should mix pretty much immediately. It should mix. And that's what you probably thought was gonna happen with the other one. All right, but it didn't. So we'll go ahead and we'll fill that up. <laughs> and so everybody's like, well, it's water. It'll just sink into the other water and you'll get purple. Well, look, it's, it's not sinking because it's less dense. But if we put the more dense one on top, so here's another red one, okay? We're gonna put the blue one on top this time. All right. And we're gonna try to, again, get this, the hardest part of this is getting the two containers lined perfectly up. And so here we go. And let's just watch. And look, immediately the cold blue water is sinking down into, and look, the red's going up. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see red going up into the blue. It's crazy. So the 
warm water is going up through the blue. It's already purple down here because the dense water had gravity helping it go down too. But look, this is also mixing, which is crazy. Now, one other thing that's amazing, <laughs> it's absolutely amazing is, what would happen if I leave? So like if I leave this other one over here, if I leave this one right here, this side, okay? So if I leave that side long enough, will the red stay on top of the blue forever? You see, what's gonna happen is the red is going to, right now the red is less dense, but it's losing, all right, some of its heat to the surrounding air because it's warmer and the air is cooler. So there, it's, it's exothermically losing some of its heat to the air. Well, eventually what's gonna happen is that the red is going to eventually be the same temperature as the blue below. And when those two become the same temperature, the question is, will they actually mix? Why don't you think about that for a second? Will, when they become the same temperature, will they mix? What do you think? Okay, so a lot of students would say, well, no, it should never mix because they're the same density. When they become the same temperature, they'll be the same density, so they shouldn't really switch places. But here's the crazy thing. If you want to try this at home, by the way, you got to get two containers that have the exact same mouth diameter on them so that when you do this, that you can actually do it. You also need to have some type of a thing that you use between the two containers that's like made of like uh, like a, a plastic material, something that you can slide between them. It's not going to get wet, but it will also slide easy. I just used a laminated uh, periodic table is what I used that I laminated. But kids will think that, well, wait, when they become the same density, they shouldn't really, they shouldn't really mix. And they shouldn't. But kinetic theory says that particles are always in motion. And see, if particles are always in motion then that means that even when they are the same temperature, that eventually both waters will turn purple. It's just like this one. It won't stay like this forever. Once they became the same temperature, this one will no longer appear, will no longer be less dense. This one will no longer be more dense. But when they're the same, they'll still mix because kinetic theory says that particles in a liquid are always in motion. And if they're always in motion, then that container will mix. So if you try this, you come back several hours later, which I'm not going to let the video go that long, but this will eventually be all purple too. But check this out. <laughs> check it out. Red water warm on top of cold blue water. They're both water. Science is awesome. Have a great day.